Okay, guys, Mr. Bellion here. This is for my grade 11 and 12 students. We're doing this together. Um, we basically have a simple punch sequence from an idle stance. Um, this is a hold, for example, right now. And uh, I think the punch is here and then back to idle. Okay, and there's an anticipation here with turning this way. And then I gave you guys the pose of the idle stance start. I have a punch, and we pushed it further on our own. We made our own version of this. What I want to do is go in here and kind of look at the graph editor in terms of the translations and rotations. So here I've actually, uh, I have a two-frame hold, uh, overshoot, actually. Boom, and then comes back. So it kind of boom, hits, and then comes back, right? So what I want to do is go through these uh, curves and show you how, how we can fix them. Um, it's like the final tweaking be, uh, before submission. Okay, so examples. So for example, uh, what I'll do is I'll get the previous version of this, and then let's hope we can work through that. Okay, you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, so this one is the 4A. Let's go to 4, punch pose. Okay, good to go. We're in 2018. First thing first, let's look at this. Okay, this has less keys here. This is good. Uh, and let's see my punch. Okay, right there, and I didn't overshoot yet. Okay, so there's an ant, and a tick right here, and then that's the anticipation, and then there's a, let's see here, I tried to bring the, I tried to tuck the arm in there, so it's a breakdown here, and then it goes up. So it's really, what is it? So let's see, 115, 121, I'm just going to go all here, I'm going to make a six second, um, sorry, six frame. And the overshoot's going to be in there as well. So we've got this one here. Okay, let's pretend that we're happy with this. Uh, what I'll do right now, I'll even do the overshoot just for a second here. I'll just go in here, um, copy, boom, bring it over, paste, and let's see here. Okay, I'll start with the transition here. That's the body, that's the root, and I'll just push it a bit for the W. And then here it is in the camera. And I just want it to go forward a bit more as if I'm reaching. Okay, just a little, just a little bit. Okay. And I'll look at the arm and then I'll go to rotate. I want to push that a bit further, just a touch like that. Okay, something like that. Okay, so let's see what all this means. Okay, I'm not going to get too technical here. I'm just going to go to the root, as I said before, just go with translate and let's see what's happening. Looks like there's almost two holds here, hold and a hold, right? That is not our goal. So imagine you are rotating. So I'm just working on the translate, and I'm going to eventually come to rotate. So it, these two positions, there's no change here in its translation. So what I'm going to do is just kind of bring this up a touch. So let's make it a smooth movement as opposed to a hold. So holds are really tough uh, to pull off in 3D because you can't have a character standing still. We never stand still anyway. There's, no, like, there's always a body part moving. So if this is the overshoot, and you know the destination in the end, the settle is there. So it either goes up or down, right? So let's just go, let me just go up for a second and see how this looks. Yeah, a little shoot over like that, or shoot like that. And here's the previous one that I copied and pasted, and boom. So it shoots, overshoots, comes back, and settles, okay? All right, so let's go to translate Y and see again. So I worked down here. That's kind of cool. I did this already. So we got that movement, and then we come up here, and let's see, what is the why is a rotation? Let's just do another overshoot up. You can actually do it without even moving it up. You can just leave it here the way it was, but just simply grab this, turn it up that way, so it's just going over, coming back. Okay, so you can actually do the same thing here. You can go like that, but I'm just going to push it up a bit. I'll explain that further in a moment. So I don't want a flat line here. So I just want. Like just just slowly, gradually going into a flat line. Okay, so again, let me look here. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm holding Alt, the middle button, little scroll button. So that's cool. Let's go to translate Z. Same thing here. I can actually overshoot, and the Z is the okay, right there, boom, like that. And then this one turns into that settle. Okay, rotate X. Same thing. I did. I worked on it over here. I think there's a. It's almost like flat there. So you can even go like, look, you're not going to notice much. Watch. So watch. I can even do it like this. 
okay, or a nice subtle boom. Okay, so let's see the other way. Let's take it above, so it goes down. Yeah, I think I like it gradually going up to it. And rotate Y, okay, and then here, see? So we're just going to go, actually, let's shoot it over. Overshoot, so see it's going beyond, and then it settles back. So um, I'm going to just zoom in here so you guys can see this. So this came out flat, right? Like you can see it's horizontal, right? But I'm going to just kind of turn it to go beyond and then comes back. And yes, the Fizet uh, group out there are playing ping pong right now. That is the background noise you're hearing. And let's look at Rotate Z. Okay, so this is actually settling into there. So I'm not going to go like this. I'm not going to go, no, I could. Or I can just gradually bring it in here like that. So let's see here. Like that. So remember, the previous point is there. And you always have to have your cursor somewhere where you're working. Okay, so I can come in here in the middle, and I can work on this one if I want. Uh, oops, let's do that again. Press that. Going on here, my friends. Ah, we're back. Rotate. Now let's see here. Okay, I'm going to bring that up. Ooh, that's really kind of bizarre, isn't it? Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Turn this way. Ding. Oh yeah, so we're just boom. Okay, so let's see how we can pull this into an overshoot by holding shift and bring it down. Make sure you're in move tool. See, that wasn't moving because I'm not in the W. So here, holding shift, middle scroll, down. Okay, so here I'm overshooting that for sure. I'm going beyond it. Nice. And what I'll do is I'll come over here. I'm going to hold alt for a second. I'm not going to make this into a flat line, so I'm just going to bring this one down to, into a subtle like that, something like that. So let's see, boom, over. Let's try that again. I think I just inadvertently pressed something else. Rotate X and uh, yeah, so this would be somewhere up here. Okay, all right. So there's my overshoot goes over and then gradually comes back here. And then let's see, middle scroll and let's just hover slowly into into its setup. Okay, so let's take let's take something else. Let's look at it. Let's see what time. 251. Okay, so um, let's take the arm. What is this? No, nope, it's not the arm. There it is, right here. Boom. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, so rotate X. Again, look, it looks like we have a hold here. So we either go beyond it. So let's come over here, get our <coughs> player right there, and just shoot beyond. Let's see, for example, this is what's happening. It's going up. Boom, like that. And then comes back. See? Overshoot into a setup. Yeah, let's see. Rotate Y. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. I'm making this a nice smooth. We don't want these kind of like stutters here. Okay, so we want to keep things smooth. Okay, so let's see. This is the Y. And it's E. E, isn't it? Is that rotate? Yeah, so it's going right to left. And I'm going to press W so I know what I'm doing. So let's see here. Do I overshoot it? No, I'm going under here. So just a smooth move here. I'll take this one as well and do a little bit of overshoot there. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then we'll take this one and just smooth it out. So just gradual turn into a settle. Let's check rotate Z on the arm. Again, there's like it's a flat line here. I'll press E to find out. So it's the up and down. It's the Z and press W again. So let's see how this looks if you shoot above. And then it comes down. So I can do that without even moving it. So watch this, the handle, turn it, so it goes up, and turn this one, so it kind of falls in line. There you go, there's a nice little subtle arc there. Cool, that worked. And I'm gonna check the elbow. Look at that, there's a hold right there. We don't want the holds. And so here, here's another method, guys. You can take the center and you know, do something like that. Okay, so I'll just do this again, so you guys can see this. So there's no flat line here, see? So what I basically did, I took this one, I slid it up a touch, and I slid this one up before it was like this. If you select the middle and you just hover, oops, I didn't select both, so there we go. There's a subtle movement here. I love that. Okay, I'm going to check the wrist and, uh, and just make sure my arcs are fine. 
Okay, so let's go with rotate X. Okay, so this is a nice arc here. I'm just going to go gradual uh, reverse here. So I'm just going to W, come down here, then on this one alternative. So there's a subtle curve like that. Okay, let's go ahead and come down a touch more here. Watching the view, what's happening? Okay, so it's going to rotate Y. Same thing. I don't need it to go beyond because it's just a wrist. I need to. I just need to sad subtle. Subtle, subtle here, something like that. Okay, and then rotate Z for the wrist. Boom, crank that down. Turn over. Yeah, nice little. Oops, a little too much. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that's fine. It's going up. That's cool. So you see, I just worked on the arm. If you want? We can check the head. Okay, rotate X. So these are the main body components. So uh, we're going to take a look here. Oh, there's a subtle movement here. I'm okay. Uh, let's see where, where we are here. In the camera view and the perspective view. What's happening? Rotate X. Let's see what that is. So it's kind of like an up and down, right? So let's see here. Turn. Next key. Boom. Gradual. Next key. It's not bad. There is a hold here, it looks like. We don't want to hold, especially in the head rotation. So let's just make this gradual, smooth movement, okay? Yeah, that's not bad. Like that. Let's go to Y, right to left, and then I'll just, well, let's see. Let's go back one frame. No, we want to hit the target like that. Can you see? So subtle, curve it this way. Here we go. And then something like that. Okay, so that's good. And then rotate that. I'm going to stop here. It's going to get very loud in here momentarily. Okay, that's the right to left. I'll just make it like this. So you see these little subtleties will help us, okay? So it's a one and a half second cycle. We're, we're kind of doing game animation, um, but also applying... Uh, Cartoon animation, which is really 24 frames. The game is 30. So it's still a second and a half cycle. So you go 24 frames into one. And I'm just going to render this out in two seconds. Okay, But really, it's a one and a half second cycle from beginning to end. Okay, you'll see here. I'll maximize it here. And just press play. Boom. Okay, so it ends somewhere in here, 136. But I'm just holding it so that we have a two second play blast. Okay. Let's call this grade 12 reboot punch graph. Okay, so let's hit apply here. Apply and then boom. There's my shot. And I'd like you guys to go into your graph editor and please, uh, you know, like see I've put my frame count on and you can actually check the frames in here. And then just scrub slowly and just look at the arcs, the movements. Okay, so here it is, goes back to anticipation, really over exaggerating. I don't like how this arm is kind of moving and nothing else is moving. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Look at that. One, two. Okay, so slow, go back. There's a lot. Oh, because I did a breakdown and I sped up that part. Okay, but still, I'm not liking this. I could possibly bring the shoulder up here, the shoulder controller. I could do that. By looking at this frame by frame, and it goes back. See, there's something going wrong with the shoulder controller. It's too low, in my opinion. Okay, so boom, like that. So let's play it one more time, and call it a day. Okay, get in the graph editor, the guys, and have fun in there. All right, bowing out. Thank you. See ya.